It's time for tea, and this is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And when you see me with the squad, we're either spilling or sipping tea, or maybe having a get join us in the studio. I am Ifeo Luo Oshinke, and I'm here with the flamboyant Ewa Ritu and the controversial Benny Ak. On today's lineup, 50 Cent is in Don calling out Oprah Winfrey after accusing her of going after black men. The rapper suggested in his Tuesday, December 17th Instagram post that the um, Apple CEO has betrayed her own people by taking white men's side. 50 first expressed his disappointment towards Oprah earlier this month, asking a decision for not producing a documentary about Avi Weinstein's accusers. Instead, she chose to make a documentary about Russell Simmons' sexual misconduct case. Hmm. And you mentioned this this week, just this week. That was, that was yesterday. Yeah, that was yesterday, and right? You, I mean, you said something like some people are done being black or some people are not yeah. being black. And it's, we need to accept that already. Yeah. To be honest, I don't know why people are calling her out. I feel she's just putting her mouth where her money is. Hmm. That's what I feel. But no, it's not about putting your mouth where your money is. Because if you're putting your mouth where your money is, you should be for your own kind, if you ask me. I'm not saying be biased because you see a guilty black man and because you are black, you support that guilty black man. That's not what anybody's telling you to do. But there are a lot of white people out there that are walking the streets free. Do you understand? And they have committed the same crime that a black man has committed. And those black men are rotten in jail right now. Mm. And then they are walking the streets free. He also um, put a, a picture to this post where we could see um, the people you called yesterday. We could see Avi. We saw Bill Cosby jailed. True. We saw, um, what's his name? Um, what's his name? Kevin Spacey yes. walking free and the likes. And he put that together. So it was a well detailed information. It wasn't, it's not just the 50 cents cyber bullying type thing. We actually have facts on this one. I mean, I and then it's Russell... Not, it's not eating. It's what everybody knows about her already. It's really not eating. I don't think it's a secret. It, it's what is open and everybody... It has always been there. Hmm. But 10 women now are against Russell Simmons, saying that um, mm, they, they yeah. were sexually harassed and raped mm. by Russell. So I never saw Russell to be that kind of person, though. But <laughs> it's not like I know him. It's not like I know him one on one. <laughs> but watching um, what's it called? A lot of shows that he used to put together mm. back then. You know, he seems like a well-reserved and well-put-together man. So I'm really surprised these women are coming out to say. And he has put out a lengthy statement saying that he has never had um, non-consensual sex with anybody or any unlawful sex with anyone. That's what everybody says. Mm. Let's see how this You guys still understand the bloody conspiracy theories going on about against black successful already made men. Mm. And I remember one day the whole world wake up to realize what exactly is going mm. on. You know what I mean? This is Russell Simmons. He's the brain behind so many TV TV entertainment shows, the, the popular Vibe magazine. I mean, he's a, he's a product of his brain, of his work. And um, there was a period. Many people don't even realize there's actually brothers with um, Ron DMC, Rev Ron. You know, and so there's a whole lot of conspiracy against the black man, especially if you, mm. you're successful in the entertainment industry. Now, my problem, my grouch with, with Oprah is, for Christ's sake, you grew up from a black community. But she your has very always... Own, your very own supported you from the, from the get-go, you know. And so, like you rightly said, I'm not saying support black men who do wrong, but why is your highlight on the black men? The black men. And you know, not, you know, let's and not, not forget folks. that she has just... always talked about how black men, what black men did to her growing uh, Yeah, because she's also a that. victim of rape yeah, and Yeah, she has always talked about... So, so, she's now still, less... so she's bitter. She's still bitter. Yeah. Yes. I mean, and it's pretty unfortunate. Then you don't, you don't come against everybody, you know, don't you get it? You have the opportunity to have... I like the Harvey Weinstein story, but you'd rather pick on Russell Simmons. You know, you might have the opportunity to highlight another white man's story, Kevin Spacey, but you'd rather pick on Al Kelly. It, it just shows how bitter and mad you are. And so it's, I think it's a personal problem. It's an opera problem she needs mm. to fix. Mm. You know, and so until she's able to do that, then she's, we'll always see where she's tilted to already. So she's not necessarily white and, and black and soul right now. She's a white, she's a mm -hmm. white, she's a white soul in a black skin. You know, and like Ewa rightly said, she's putting her mouth yeah, where money, money is. is. Hmm. <laughs> Don't you get it? it? And so she's actually doing service for the white community. Yeah. And so they're the ones paying her bills and keeping her in business. Paying and so, billions. I mean, true that, true that. I, I think I understand it from that angle when you say she's putting her mouth where her money is. Mm. So she's being paid by the white people and she's. Okay, so now I feel what's going this. on is like she has a lot of things going on within her, like putting her um, mouth where her money is and then her own personal issues, like you rightly said. Yeah. She has a lot. So 
Well, it's not just I'm deciding sorry, one, to... It's just one black man that raped you if you were molested. It wasn't all black all men. Black mm -hmm. Don't you yeah. get it? Not all so black now men. Now you're trying to... Um, put every black man in the same category. So I'm all, so Oprah would probably see me as a rapist. That's what That's it, it means. I mean, at first sight. Do you understand? Mate, at first sight, she'd be like, sight, oh, this guy has I mean? to be a rapist because yeah. it's black. Mm. But if I'm white, I'm not a rapist. I'm not a rapist. So it's really sad. But um, at the same time, like we said, we're not saying support every black no. man regardless right. of what they do. No, but let, let, but don't, let don't the truth be known because we are, we are condemned guilty. enough. And to That's be honest, we are, we are honest, profiled um, enough than to be profiled by our kind again. Yeah. And it's to really be honest, sad. Um, this documentary has go a very long way in um, judging this man already. Even exactly. if sometimes, you know, they, exactly. they are probably innocent. Exactly. But after seeing that documentary, everybody's art is just turned against them and think that, oh, they are terrible people. Oh, my God, they are monsters. Of which we don't know the truth actually. The what if they are, uh, Especially you know, when we're just trying to redeem our image and a lot of black people are beginning to do good for themselves and being very responsible and then we're trying to let the world see us in a different light. Mm -hmm. Now we're telling you that, okay, we need to be viewed differently, we need to change our narratives and all of that. And then a fellow black person keeps dragging us down. Now, how do you expect the narratives to change? Okay, it would never just, change. Not just a fellow black person. A, a very highly influential, influential black person. Person. Black person. That's the grouch. I mean, 50 Cent is having with Oprah. And mm. on this one, I totally am 101% with, with 50 Cent. Usually, I don't agree with 50 because yeah. I think it's a bully, well, I'm, I'm sure but. Oprah does not care. I mean, people no, she, have, no, she, no, she people have she said this no. over. No, she doesn't. She, doesn't. she loves money <laughs> than all of you. <laughs> so she does she not care. <laughs> all right. So um, we need to move on to the next story. Two of Tekashi's six nine armed robbery victims have called on a New York judge to hold the rapper responsible for his crimes and keep him behind bars. The Fifi star, real name Daniel Hernandez, faces up to 47, 47 years in prison on racketeering and firearms charging relating to gang activity with, in Brooklyn. Nine trade blows crew, two people targeted in an armed robbery at the rap a lot records offices office in April 2018 have now submitted victim impact statement to the judge overseeing the case calling for Takashi to be made to suffer in prison just as they have suffered in the wake of the attack which ended up being a case of mistaken identity Takashi is due to be sentenced on Wednesday December the 18th so I feel, I feel pretty sad for those two victims. Mm. You know, many people are like, I didn't know overreacting, I didn't know over sensationalizing. Mm. No, but it's yeah. not. I mean, they were yeah. traumatized. They were, you know, you said something when we were yeah. talking about um, Angela Okori, and you said, yeah. Have you ever had a gun pointed at you? Oh, yeah. Mm. Like, if you <laughs> have a gun, you, it's, it's a trauma you would leave mm. with forever. I feel it. I feel mm. it. That feeling is crazy. It's crazy. Because so, I've, I've experienced it. It, it. You're haunted for days, for weeks, or months, depending on how much therapy you can get and how help can come to you. As you can, they were just, they were just unfortunate to be at the wrong place um, at, at the, the wrong, wrong time. time, you know. Or and maybe so at the right place at the, at the right place at the right time. And the because time. they actually thought they were members of the gang, they came they mm. came to look for, they came to run, but unfortunately they were not. And so some people argue the fact that uh, why are they, that they're taking it too seriously. No, they were traumatized. I mean, they are even, and I feel me. like, it's even okay for them to take it seriously if that's what's going to get them justice. You, know? you can't tell people to define, you can't define people's justice for them. Yeah. If you are going to give him um, maybe five years or let him go, that's not justice. If they want more than that, please feel free. It's not only in that can write letter to the judge. Thank God it's an open thing. Yeah. Anybody can write the yeah, letter totally to the judge. Agree. So you know, please let them do what thing, gets them the justice It's a system that works right there. They can actually sue for damages. You know, mm -hmm. emotional, yes. emotional damage, you know, psychological mental, trauma. psychological yeah. I mean, it's it's a whole lot to comprehend to deal with. You know, just imagine taking a walk by the sidewalk and somebody's walking behind you. Next thing, you're panicking because you're like, "This person might pull out a gun." I mean, that is how traumatizing it is for for the lady. You know, when it, she was also describing our, our own story, and so we shouldn't we shouldn't trivialize it. It's their pain, it's their trauma, mm. and if that letter is admissible in the court of law, it is. Then it's something they should also look into. Of and course. Takashi has a lot to, to deal with, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. He has a lot to contend with. I mean, that's what you get when you're forming um, gangster Gangsta. and you don't even have the mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I feel bad <laughs> for him, but if this is what if this is what brings justice to the table, then let the judge go ahead and do what's oh, yeah. right. Yeah, I, be, I believe um, they should Especially if there were really jurors involved. Mm. Mm. I mean, Takashi's in trouble. I'm sorry. You saw what Charlemagne the God said. I can't repeat that right now. Mm. Yeah, he said, yeah, he, but, but it's, it's okay. That was what he said. That's what Charlemagne the God said. That he if Takashi should get off this case, that if he should get off this 
case not convicted that he's actually gonna as his balls. Fellatio. You know what I mean? Like let's just let's just <laughs> stick to that. <laughs> okay. Crazy. So um so let's just stick to that. But at the end of the day, I think it's okay for these guys to write their petitions yeah. and to let the judge know how they, they feel, feel about right. this. Because it's really crazy when you're not even supposed to be the target and then all of a sudden you have this kind of thing happening. You get. So it's something you live with. And one of them said that it feels that every time it wakes up, some one of them, Tekashi's guys, will come back to finish him off. Because they will be see there. them as a witness mm. regardless. Do you understand? So... Are you so sure? I'm sure there's still somebody that was they part like of that robbery that is walking free right now. To this case. Right now. Mm -hmm. Obviously, not everybody from that robbery has been apprehended. You They're know that, right? Those two people were principal witnesses to, principal, to the crime. Yes. Mm -hmm. that so, so right they're now, crucial to that I, case. I understand um, where they're coming from. I mean, I feel this is going to be very difficult for the judge after reading um, Tekashi's letter and then reading really? the victims. Like, it will be so difficult for him. But and God will give him the. Let me pray for him. God <laughs> will give him the knowledge. No, it's not, <laughs> about, reading, committed, it's not, it's not yeah. about reading Tekashi's um, letter. letter yeah. Look, their, their evidence is against Tekashi. Mm. He has also confessed to some. So, regardless of what they think or what they want to say, you understand? The evidence is what people will go by. No, it would definitely so go to judge, jail. It's, I think what he's just asking for is a reduced sentence. Leniency, yeah, yeah. for the seven years. It would definitely, yeah. I mean, he but has done the crime. that was and facing has... a life sentence. Now he asked for to seven years. So if it's reduced, how many years do you think? I, 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 I was talking to somebody today, and I said the least, in my opinion, Takashi would get is 30 years. Mm. Now that's the least. I don't know. I may be wrong. I, they may sentence him tomorrow, and it's bagging, ten uh, years, five yeah. years. But I'm saying that if you ask me, I think he shouldn't get less than thirty years because wow. the things and the way um, they against this guy is so. And for outrageous. me, I feel he might get the reduced sentence because of yeah, the way will. their own system works over there. Do you get? And because it's been a good snitch to remember that. Right. Mm. All right, so um, let's move on to the next story. You cannot be a Christian and also be a Malian, says a Nigerian pastor. So apparently, his beef with um, Naira Mali is that um, he watched, he said he blocked him while he was watching one of his um, videos or retweets. Um, retweets and um, he saw him. Um, but who blocked who now? The, the pastor. pastor blocked. So I'm wondering why the pastor, the pastor blocked Naira Mali. Mali in the and what's his thing. business with Naira Mali? He said because he was seeing um, people, people's retweets of his video at the strip club on his timeline. And then it was, um, you know, tapping some things that it wasn't supposed to be tapping on a video. So I don't like, know, but I feel like a lot of people are just putting so much attention and effort into this Naramali's case mm. and story. Trust me, Naramali is not the first of its kind. Mm. There are a lot of people that but could if have we have to go by and... our moral standards in this part of the world, you mm. know. And that what is our moral standard in this part of the world? <laughs> uh, our, our moral standard in this part of the world is that you cannot be a Malian. No, I'm more really? standard in this part of the world is hypocrisy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what? Okay, judge, I, I was going judge, to say. We judge what, people what, who are bold enough to come out and do what it is many of us do in our private. Right. We judge people who come out and say what mm -hmm. it is many of us only think about it. Which in is our what Tuke Makenwa was trying to tell us um, last so, week. Moral yeah. standard, when she moral said, compass by who? Who sets this moral compass? When she said, yeah. um, a lot of people are praising Cardi B for being so real, but yeah. if our own Nigerian celebrities should try half of the things that um, Cardi B is trying, out. people will call them out and all sorts. Mm. And I think um, you're actually right. There's a lot of hypocrisy in this part of the world. Even not just in this part of the world, even amongst people we call friends, yes. mm. you understand? Even amongst people we wine and dine with, there's lots of hypocrisy, and I think it's really sad as well that people just tend to just judge you for what <laughs> I'm sorry. they believe is their own moral standard, mm. and they don't take time to respect how you actually want to live your life, mm. what makes this person happy. Because at the end of the day, my happiness is what counts the most, is what I really want to do, it's not about the next my man. My point is, I'm trying to understand this pastor's grouse with Naira Mali. I mean, <laughs> Me too, to yeah. be honest. I'm wondering why the pastor was even Naira following Naira Mali. 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 In the that, first that, place. Like, why are we Hello, man of God, sir, why were you following Naira Mali? I mean, why are you even post? bothered I mean, about Naira Mali? Mali? Like, I'm just, I'm, I'm confused. Or is it, is it possible to um, um, block retweets and all that? You can't, uh, if you're following this person. So you have to be following Naira Mali for you to actually block him. 
Do you understand? So why are you following Naira Mali, sir? I don't understand. Sorry, you want Pastor. To be I'm a Christian. But have you seen Naira Mali's new dance? I showed you that this morning, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Are you asking me hey, if I've seen Naira Mali's new dance? And then dance. I saw comments of people saying that this guy is about to F the church up. But that's a, like, that's a whole lot of exercise, man. You know. <laughs> because they'll, they'll make that song the praise and worship. Yeah, they trust I mean, me. trust me, you wouldn't know when somebody would just come leading praise and worship and everybody's already Teishi 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 Mole. Mole. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it, will, it will happen. But Naira Mali always has a comeback song for every situation because um, I think this song was recorded recently with this new Katef um, mm. case. Yes. And his new album is coming out. So, and I think our guy, C Black, is on it's the first EP. track. Yeah, his EP is also. Well, one thing I can say for sure for Naira Mali right now, well, he's, he's juvenile. And I don't want to say he's deliquent. Um, he, he's, he's deliquent. Yeah, let's, okay. let's say yeah. juvenile. Deliquent. You know, I mean, he, he's talented. You can't take that away from mm. him. He's gifted. I'm just, I'm just hoping that sometimes in the nearest future, he will... He, there's a whole lot of youthful exuberance right now mm. he's explained, and it's allowed. It's a rite of passage for him. I'm just hoping that in, 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 a soon, in, in the time to come, he'll be able to direct all of this as energy, and if, because he's, 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 he has, he yeah. has a great influence. Mm. You know, to something more positive. People don't address, wear belts anymore. To address <laughs> situations, yeah. to address the state of the nation. And I see him... Going that way. It's yeah, already going that way. Yeah, it's That's already it. going that way. I see him going that way that very soon. It, it might, his music might now be music like the last music yeah, addressing right. governmental yeah. and societal, societal issues. Social issues, issues yeah. you know. I'm just thinking. I mean, I he said he's going to run for president, so let's see how that works for him. Right? I can pull a Kanye nurse. You never can tell. Right, right. <laughs> me, I'm a Malian, I'm a and Christian. And then he showed off, he showed off his cars, God. Leave God to judge me. Did you see his car garage? Oh, um, if you stop asking me, did I see anything about Naira Mali? Because you know I saw it. <laughs> no, I forgot you had the <laughs> <laughs> say, I, I forgot you took something. the picture. I'm you gonna know. Say, <laughs> I'm going to say something about that again. You know what? I'm beginning to have so much respect for that young man, Naira mm. Mali. Never used to be, because I just feel you know, your lyrics are so contaminated. Mm -hmm. I mean, how, how damaged can one be mm. to be pushing out, turning out such kind of mm. lyrics? But I go through his tweets sometimes. The things Naira Mali says. You must be really impressed with what he Yeah, because he says that all the time. And again, about it. in that tweet I mean, where, he showed, where he showed off his cars, he said, I am not born to. To, yeah. to, to, to display, to display, to oh, yeah, display I, my I don't flex to on people that yeah, don't have. Yeah, I don't have time to be flexing on people that don't have, but you're teaching me how to do, how to show off. So mm. I think, and then David O replied, no cap. I mean, that's <laughs> it, end like, of discussion. Like, no cap. That's from an intelligent mind. Yeah. So you just know he's not all words. So he's not just showing he's, off because he, he does, he just wants to show that, oh, I have all of this, I have that, I have this, I have mm. that. Like, I never knew Naramali had a G-Wagon or a Bentley until this Ain't morning. Ain't of people never but me, I never knew too until Britain. I'm like, oh wow. I was even thinking because even when you see him big on the Oniru Road, he's on a quad bike. Yeah. You understand? He's always on a quad bike. Yeah. He's never in a car. And he's usually shirtless. He's just like your regular guy. Like people don't even know Naira Mali is the one you know, I think he's riding just, by. He's, he's just always just covering non, his face, you know. He's just a non conformist a rebel with a course. That's what I'll call him. Mm. I'm beginning to like the young man, really. I'm beginning to. Yeah. <laughs> okay, more Malians. Malians. <laughs> Give me five, Malians. Malians. All right, so let's move on to the um, final story for the day. Tony Lawani is advising young men to choose their women wisely, saying a woman with a brain can turn a broke man into a millionaire, hmm. but a beauty with empty head can turn a millionaire into a broke man. Vice well versa. said. I, ain't I think got, this is, I ain't the, got none to I say think this is the best thing I've seen Tony Lawani <laughs> say. It. My whole life. I really don't have any I'm not saying she's not. She's very intelligent. She says a lot of good stuff. Okay. But I think this is the best thing she had said so far. Because you see a lot of women out there, and they they just come with a beauty, but they don't have anything to bring to the table. I, I can't remember when we were saying it on this show when I said. Is that her there? Yes. Mm. She's pretty. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's very, very pretty. pretty. She has two kids, and she's my friend's baby mama. So stay off. So why are you fancy, man? <laughs> <laughs> why, why are you I'm, fancy, not, bro? I'm telling you to stay off because I know you. You're bro. Because I know you. You'll be sliding in a DM. Yeah, before we know, she looks very before pretty. we know it. You know, I said it the other me. day. I came across another tweet by a known influencer on Twitter where she said that guys, if you want to, if you want to live long and be rich, stay up, stay up, girls with high, mm -hmm. with high taste but no jobs. No jobs mm -hmm. yeah. You know, a whole lot of women are speaking a whole lot of sense because it's the society and the times we're living. There's this sense of entitlement that a, a whole lot of women yeah. have. For you know, me, I've, I've always said this on this table. 
you attract what you are. Mm. Mm. There are good women out there. Mm. It's just left for the man to decide if you want to be with a good woman mm. or you want to be with a slay queen, that a mm. trophy wife that you just want to take to mm. parties, that's looking it's good, trophy a trophy girlfriend, yeah. you know, that you just want to take out and let everybody, oh God, your girlfriend is so beautiful. Or you want somebody that will build with you. Mm. It's your choice. But, but are, you saying, no, are you saying there no are beautiful with. women who want to stay with men and build with them? Is yeah, that of what course you're saying? Oh, no, 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 okay. they have. Yeah. Like, I'm just saying, like, you're, you, you're what you attract. Like, if you're, if you're intelligent yourself and you, you have focus and you know what you want, you, I mean, you're not going to follow a slay coin in quotes. Okay. Oh, boy. So, um, I think, um, basically, there are a lot of women out there that need to check themselves before they wreck themselves. There are a lot of and men, too, men, yeah. Yes, I was going to say that. No, no, no. Vice, 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 and for us to be able to do that, we can't just focus on one gender. Mm. It's the responsibility of both gender. And so that's why I have a problem with women who, when I say a problem, in quote, women who are so much about women empowerment and the men are left alone. Mm. Empower all the women for all you care. And the men are left the way they are. Those empowered women will still go back to those men mm -hmm. who we manhandle them, treat them wrongly because the men themselves need help. All right. And until we come to a place in society where we agree that both men and women, we both need help, especially men, because we're in denial of it. You know, men are so much in denial because they yeah. think, you know what, it's a man's world. I can mm. do anything again with it. True. Men, dude, you're dealing with all of an identity crisis. You mm. got an issue with you. And that is why you feel it's okay to lift your finger and beat a woman. That's why you feel it's okay to sub subjugate and subvert a woman. Mm. It's a man's problem. You know, and so let's not just make it that it's a woman's problem. There are many men who know they just mm. want the body. True. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they just go for the. And body. that's what the girls are giving them. And there are many girls they just want the money. Mm -hmm. They they feel that is what it's involved right now. That is what is important. We forget about many other factors mm. that you should yeah. be looking into. True that. Yeah. Well said. I think I don't think anyone could have said it better. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Benny, <laughs> for that contribution. <laughs> but it's Thank time you. for us to go on today's <laughs> episode of Tea Time. But remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive contents by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always goes to my co-anchors Ewa and Benny for their contributions and the entire production team. I am a fellow Ocean Care saying thank you for watching and see you later. Thank you.